Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. In this show, we have two challengers entering the ring tonight. We're here to find out if it was worth spending those sleepless nights taking on the final boss. Our challengers are going to be put to the test, answering questions, and fighting one another to the death in our intense breaker mode challenge. It's going to be very intense tonight, so I hope that you are ready to level up because this is Who is the Best Gamer? Welcome everyone to Who's the Best Gamer? I'm your host, Irma Riveron, and this is going to be a crazy ride, so I hope everyone's buckled up. But before we start, let's meet our contestants. Here we have Sergio, and over here we have Chris. And before we start, would you guys like to say something to each other? This is not going to go well for me. As I thought. <laughs> then I'm going on the winner's side. <laughs> so, first, let's get to the rules of the game. I will give the two contestants a question to, sorry. Um, I will give the two of you a question and whoever presses the button first will get the chance to answer. If you can answer the question correctly, then you will get the point. If you get the answer wrong, then you lose that point. The easier questions are worth five points and the hardest questions are worth 10. At the end of the show, we will go into the breaker mode where you two will play an actual video game to determine who is the best gamer. Now that the game has been explained, let's start the game. What is the name of the boss encounter in Sly Cooper series where a robotic owl powered by jealousy and hatred towards the Cooper family? Is clockwork. You? Is it clockwork? Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Unfortunately, we can't hold on for losers. <laughs> Number 11, and Ratchet Clank, up your arsenal. What is the name of the villainous robotic uh, pirate captain who serves as the main antagonist? Ooh. Honestly, no I, don't, I have no answers. Nothing. I actually legit forgot about that. <laughs> I've never played Ratchet and Clank. Well, I've played... let's refresh your mind. The answer to this question is Captain Cat oh, Quark. It was Captain Quark. Wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm glad to hear that because nobody lost points. But to gain more, let's go to number 12. What is the real full name of the character Ghost in the Call of Duty series? Sergio? Is it, is it Logan Walker? Is it Logan Walker? S Simon, Simon Riley. Riley. <laughs> Oof. I thought it was Logan as well. That's what I thought. I thought it was Logan as well. I'll give you that one. And I thought we we're going to make more points for this guy, but clearly not. You Hopefully, can still come join the winner's side if you want. I know. Clearly, I came up with I'm more answers. Here. Where were your answers? Let's see if you will answer this one then. In Hell Divers, what is the term used to describe the temporary buff granted to players when they successfully complete a planetary campaign and liberate a region from enemy control? Temporary buff? <laughs> I'm gonna be quite honest. I was never a big fan of Helldivers. Yeah, so I play Helldivers, and um, the most that I got is I shoot things with a missile and hope that they explode. That's what I do. And I got nothing from that. Yeah. The answer to this question is planetary influence. No idea about that. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> this is going see. great. <laughs> Haven't lost any points, though, so that's all exactly. okay. Exactly. So on to number 14, and hopefully somebody buzzes in with the right answers. I'm looking at you, Sergio. In Call of Duty Black Ops, what is the name of the main antagonist who manipulates the protagonist, Alex Mason, through a series of mind control experiments? Is it Victor Reznov? Is it Victor Reznov? Dr. Frederick Steiner? Frederick Steiner? Steiner? Sergio is going to start going to into the you know negatives. What? I'm feeling really good about this You're one. Right. You can answer any question You're that totally you right. want. I'm going to stay with the winner's side. At least, yeah. at least I'm coming up with answers. You haven't no. said one single word. We You're going to throw negatives, answers. man. We just need correct answers. We just need correct answers, including to this next question. What is the name of Mario's loyal dinosaur companion who first appeared in Super Mario World? You buzzed in first, Chris. Would that character be Yoshi? Is it Yoshi? It is. I only answer when I have the correct answer. And out of pity points. Okay, buddy. 
I will give you an extra five points if you can do Yoshi's voice. Sergio? What? Okay, Yoshi! hold on. Yoshi! That's you don't get the extra points. Sergio? Yoshi! I can't do it, I'm sorry. No I point deduction on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> Can we take away 10 points for how bad that was? I cannot do no, Yoshi's voice impression. I don't have enough. No, unfortunately, because we have another question to go up on. <laughs> In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, what is the name of the gang that CJ's brother, Sweet, leads are a part of? Dang, I haven't played San Andreas in a while. Man, who made these questions? I need to speak with the person about that, yeah. that's true. <laughs> well, will that person please give us the answer to this question? Groove, Groove Street. Street. Would have gotten that. But I'm still winning, so. That's matter. all that matters. Have a very big lead. And Sergio, please try to answer question number 17. All right. Which is the secondary antagonist in Sonic Adventure 2, a treasure hunter seeking to obtain Chaos Emeralds for their own gain. Rouge the Bat. Is it Rouge the Bat? Finally! He finally got one correct, I'm genuinely guys. happy. <laughs> Thank goodness for this. And hopefully you can continue on your winning streak with number 18. And the first Resident Evil in the beginning of the game. You can play as Jill Valentine and who else? God, even I should know this answer. Resident, Resident Evil was never on my agenda. I was more, never of, a last played of, the game I'm more of a Last of Us person. What is the answer to this question? Chris, Chris Redfield. Redfield. Yeah, I Damn. definitely would have gotten that. <laughs> I do need to start playing that game again. Still in the lead, though. That's all I care about. Let's see if you can answer this one, Sergio, okay. for your sake and dignity's sake. In Mortal Kombat games, what weapon does the character Scorpion wield? Hold on. Let me just this think is of, you, man. Let, let you me just think about. Let me just think about it before. We, hold on. Mortal let me just Kombat. think about it before I fuck up, okay? Because he uses two. So I got to think about it well. And you have five. Is it the uh, spear? Is it spear? Please be the other weapon. Can I it's rope the dart? other one. Just as it is in the original series. In the original. Oh, it's one. okay. Okay. Unfortunately for you, your, win is, your winning streak is over. <laughs> and let's go to number 20. Which Call of Duty game features the iconic multiplayer map Nuketown, known for its small size and intense close quarter combat. Chris? Would that be Call of Duty Black Ops 2? Is it his answer? <laughs> it was the first close. one, you fucking loser. <laughs> wow, Very okay. Very close. All right, all right. So once you get out of negative points, you can come talk to me, all right? Don't worry, I'll still talk to you afterwards. <laughs> no, he said that for me, and I and appreciate that. But going on to number 21, the mysterious entity in Destiny 2 that communicates with the Guardians through cryptic messages and visions of the future is known as what? You should know that one. The Witness or the Winnower. They are basically the same character. Is it one of those two options? Ooh. That's not true. <laughs> it's the Aham I'm talking to whoever made this question afterwards. Yeah, we need to talk about the Sly Cooper question, too. We that also was need completely to talk wrong. about the Destiny questions, yeah. too. What we do need to talk about is... The following question, which is, in the Sonic series, what type of animal is Knuckles? Sergio? The, he is like an echidna. Is it an My echidna? Lord. Oh, it is. Huh. You might be close uh, well, did to getting you, out of Did you thought he was a hedgehog? I'll be honest, they kind of look the same to me. Yeah, same here. <laughs> and I grew up playing I can, Sonic. I can, I can see why. Oh, I, 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 don't, I, don't blame, I don't blame you. So thank you. Yeah. Now I don't feel as bad for you now. <laughs> Now, number 23. In the series Five Nights at Freddy's, what color is the fur of the big fuzzy bear? Would that color be brown? Did I say that you got to you the answer? You did not. I jumped the gun a lot. And I'm going to make sure that they're going to deduct points. I, right I'm, getting wow. a, I'm getting a point. I'm getting a point. What is the answer? It is literally brown. Is it brown? And it is. Next time, wait for me to yeah, tell you. Yeah, you know, that's my fault. Lesson learned. Number 24, <laughs> true or false? You can pick whether you are a crew member or imposter in the game Among Us. Now, Chris. Oh, thank you. That would be false. Is it false? And it is. Good redemption. You really need to work on your redemption arc over there, buddy. <laughs> Number 25, 
what is the name of the main protagonist in the Final Fantasy VII game known for spiky blonde hair and large buster sword? I never play Final Fantasy. I never play Final Fantasy like that. And you guys call yourself gamers. I mean, listen, I'm thinking of Link, but I know that's incorrect. So that's <laughs> well, why I'm not even going to buzz in. What we should be listening to is the answer to this question, which is cloud. Again, Five letter word instead of four. I mean, I was close, all mm, things considered. No, not at all. <laughs> but let's see with number 26, you will get the correct answer for that one. What is the name? of the main character in Tomb Raider series known for her adventurous exploits and archaeological discoveries. Personally, I prefer Uncharted over Tomb, Seri Tomb Raider series, so I'm not going to know this answer neither. And that was not the proper answer to the question. <laughs> not at all. God, this is disappointing. Please give us the answer to this question. The most obvious, Lara, Lara Croft. Croft. I mean, what do you expect from like 2 p.m. on a Tuesday? This is the people that you can get. I'm very disappointed in both of you. <laughs> and unfortunately with that, we have to end this part of the segment. Let's look at the scores. And after our break, we will be going into our breaker mode where our two contestants will battle it out to see who is a true gamer.